In the previous video lecture, we studied in detail the T independent B cell activation. It is a two signal process. First signal is derived from the clustering of B cell receptors on antigen recognition. And second signal is derived from other molecules of the antigen. We also saw that, as a result of T independent B cell activation, mainly IgM antibodies are produced. And, since memory B cell production requires T cell help, no memory cells production occurs. Let us now study T dependent B cell activation. Recall that protein antigens cannot cross link multiple B cell receptors. This is because in these antigens, repetitive and identical epitopes are absent. Thus, when B cells encounter protein antigens, they require T cell help to get activated. T dependent B cell activation is a three signal process. First signal is generated on antigen recognition by B cell. Mature naive B cell recognize and bind specific antigen by its B cell receptors. Recall that B cell is also an antigen presenting cell. Besides recognizing the antigen, they also process them and display them on their surface as MHC2 peptide complex. These B cells also start expressing co stimulatory and cytokine receptors on their surface. Most important co stimulatory receptor is CD40. Meanwhile, the same antigen is also recognized by the mature naive CD4 positive T cells or helper T cells. Note that this recognition by T cell is independent of the B cell. The dendritic cells presence processed antigen in the form of MHC2 peptide complex to this T cell. T cell get activated, and it expresses T cell receptors capable of recognizing these antigens. Thus, at the initial stage of the T dependent B cell activation, B cell recognize antigen and express co stimulatory molecule CD40 in cytokine receptors. Also, same antigens activate T helper cells. Second signal is derived from the interactions between B and T cell. The B cell and the T helper cell come in close proximity. Recall that B cell display antigens as MHC2 peptide complex on its surface. T helper cells recognize and bind to this MHC2 peptide complex. Once antigen recognition is done by the T helper cell, they now express CD40 ligand on their surface. CD40 receptor present on the B cell, recognize and bind CD40 ligand T helper cell. These interactions between T and B cells thus provide the second signal for B cell activation. Third, and the final signal for T dependent B cell activation is provided by the cytokines released by the T helper cell. Interaction of B and T cell induce the expression of new cytokine receptors on the surface of the B cell. T cells release cytokines such as interleukin 4. These cytokines bind to the cytokines receptors present on B cells. As a result, B cell starts to proliferate. They differentiate into antibody-secreting plasma cells and memory B cells.